Yo. How's it going? So, I don't know who's here right now. But those of you who are... I don't know if you saw in the Discord the other day, but the boys and I, the old Vikings of Prometheus, brother. Uploaded our new movie. Our short film. Uh, our movie. Our... For those of you who haven't seen it, it's our best thing we've done. It's so hilarious. I mean, it's hilarious to us because it's our stupid ass humor. What's up, Celine? If you understand just dumb, random ass humor, you will like it. And I feel like we need to... I've seen it a few times. I was there when they were editing it. When we were all editing it for hours and hours. Septile, my guy, bro. How's it going? Do I still have a command? Uh. If I don't, I'll go get your... I'll go get your thing. I don't think I do. Thought I had one. Da, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? Come on. Oh my god. I've been okay though, Sipta. How have you been? What have you been up to? Why is my live chat on? Oh, there it goes. Of course, why? Go to update it. Anyway, I think we're gonna. I wanna react to the new video that we put out first, and then we'll do some Chico encounters. Probably get to we'll still probably get to about a hundred tonight tonight. Alright, I'm gonna get your link. I this whole time I've been doing the hardest way possible of getting your link, uh Septile. Da 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 God damn! I'm so sorry, Solo. I'm so bad. I'm, that's why I don't mod. <laughs> Shit. Bro, that was that was painful for me. Anyway, we're gonna watch the new bot video. Uh. Oh wow, it's jumped up in views. Good stuff, we love to see it. Um, there. there it is. All right, 
Music, stop. Now, some of you may have seen it. We're just going to watch it anyway. It's hilarious. Oh, I need to pop out chat, right? <laughs> Forgot about that little bit. I feel like it's also just like routine for us to watch the next fucking every movie or every video we put out. Yo, yes, Matthew scored. Thank God, holy fuck. A Wrecking Bar is getting a rework? Damn. Hope he's actually like fun. Anyway, sorry. Shut up, guys. Also, yes. There is flashing lights, so ep epileptic people. I'm sorry. Get out. Hell yeah, Celine. I hope you get it. I like shiny uh, Rush Ram, as uh, split as it is. Who is that? Guy. That's me. Alright. Am I radio? Oh. And uh, in other news, today marks the 463rd anniversary of the death of Howard Johnson, local purveyor of the famous Howard Johnson line of hotels and suites and casinos and gift shops. He <laughs> tragically passed away 463 years ago when he fell into a vat of caramel <laughs> at the local caramel factory. Wow. Seems like both of you are in some deep shit. Like... You and the the guy who died in the caramel factory. Go, um, <laughs> I'm so tough. I'll talk after. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So now you're shorter here. In the car and drive now. There's no Tim in this one, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Tim might be retired. However, I know you can do it. I can now. Here. <sighs> Take. <laughs> this will get you where you need to go. Okay? You got this. I got this. Godspeed. Make sure you don't disturb it, and you'll be fine. <laughs> so far. Got that? Good. <laughs> because I really want... That's us.
move my right arm. <laughs> I made it to the door. Hell yes, that tile. Guys, my feet for free, you're welcome. Wait, who the fuck was that in the back? I've made a Lionel Messi. Oh, it's fucking Kyle. Classic. You messed up. Thought you'd do this without any mess. <laughs> but now you've ruined my vacation. I'm going to have to kill you now. Any feet lovers are loving this right now. Room service. <laughs> Room service. <laughs> Room service. <laughs> The audio mixing is so bad. One caramel, please. Room service. <laughs> I do not have this caramel which you speak of. Let what the? Then die. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I died. I fell into a vat of caramel. Ever since that day, I have haunted here the grounds upon which this caramel vat was. And now you have intruded into my spirit. You will die. So, 
Give me the caramel or die. No. <laughs> Guys, I'm dead. Cliffhanger. What's gonna happen? I'm in a movie. I'm in a movie. Well, I'm not gonna play any more of the. Uh, just I mean, I already hit got hit with copyright probably, but. There you go. Yeah, this one, if you, this is our third one. Oh, yeah, this is our special things. <laughs> what a good video. What a fantastic fucking video. Yeah, it's so good. It's our best one by far. Also, because it's about triple the triple the length of any of our other ones. Uh, close. Open sesame. Gangsta ass. Yeah, we had to censor it because bad word. Bad word. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep that shit pinned. If you wanna go hit him up with a sub, the boys trust me, I mean it's always I always like it, but if you sub and then the boys find out that you know we get a few more subs and a few more views, the boys like it way more than I do. Like they, they freak out. Every time we go up a sub or two, they're like, Oh my god, guys, we're up to 22, 23. Also, I did re-download the new Visual Boy because mine was, I guess, five years out of date and it is updated. It works. I changed my reset key, so it's now just my tilde key and not my, not control, whatever it is. I do have to screen that bitch, though. Is this how it was before? Or did I stretch it to full screen? I stretched it, didn't I? Oh, it is. Shit. Look, did I have it like this? Or did I stretch it out completely? I think I had it like this, no? Less feet? I. Uh, well, it's kind of how it was. Kind of how it is. Here, Art. Thank you, Septile. Yeah, so pretty much, I mean, I got kind of niced because um, it was like this. Okay, good. Because I don't want to have to strip. It's going to make it look so much worse. Um, for the first one, Gareth was the main sort of character in our lore. Um, the second one was Liam as the main character. The second one's pretty good. We made that one like three, four years ago. Ish. And then I was the main character in this one because I lived at the end of the second one. And so... 
I was the main character for this one. As you saw. Look how quick that was. Yeah, not only was there a lot of my feet, but my feet were dirty. Straight up. Worker man's feet, you know how it is. Too much feet. I don't know what kind. ROM hack update number, I don't fucking know. I think it was like this. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, if we go by our normal uh, schedule, it'll probably be about another X number of years before we even start about it, filming the next one, because that was filmed obviously on our Niagara Falls trip, and that was in September of last year. So. <clears throat> but we also have a vlog that w has nothing to do with uh, the footage that we use for the, the movie that will also be coming out at some point. I think Kyle's in the, like, about quarter of the way through editing it. It's gonna be kind of scuffed, though, because by the looks of it and by the sounds of it, we got, like, zero footage of the stuff we actually did. We kind of were just fucking around, you know, before we left, in the car and in the hotel room. We didn't actually get much footage of the stuff we did, which was actually a, a good amount of stuff. Unfortunately. But it's still gonna go up. You're on my boy right now, right? What? What? I'm on Game Boy. I'm not on... I'm not on your boy. I'm on Game Boy Emulator. Just can't count. I've done all the changes to towns I want to make. I think I have all I have left is some NPC dialogue to change. Be done in a week or two, hopefully. Ooh, I am excited. I'm on Visual Boy Advance. Septile. And you know how I was complaining with the last ones, like, oh, there's no check for updates button, or you can't update it from the thing. When I downloaded this new one, I went into it, and I saw some of the new stuff, and there was a check for updates button, so... They, they must have heard. And yeah, it was just straight up, like, I needed the new version, that's all it was. I deleted the old one. I realized it wasn't, you don't really install it, you kind of just download the application file, and that's it, it just works. No way Matthews is coming on, bro. Hey. Nugget Bridge, oh god. I hope he didn't make it a gauntlet where I have to face like 40 trainers. Still the normal five, okay good. <laughs> Terrifying.
so quick now. The soft resets are so quick now. I don't know if you guys noticed that. I also... I don't think it's because it's just a one button press versus a two button press, but I feel like the resets are like instant. Bam. Oh yeah, right. So the main reason why I was not I was gone for four fucking days was I kind of told you why for the most part on the Thursday. It's because Friday was my birthday. I'm like, oh, I'll be doing. I might be doing some with my friends. It turns out we did. Yeah, I streamed and then we went over to Garrett and Liam's to do something. What did we do? We did something that night. Oh, that's when we up that's when we uploaded the video. We were at their place and we had Kyle brought his entire big ass PC over to Garrett and Liam's place and we hooked it up to their TV and edited the video all of us in a group. That took uh, a long time. That's what we did. And then the weekend, uh, Saturday, I went over to Garrett. Everyone but Gareth went over to Garrett Lambs again, but to watch WrestleMania, which was this weekend, which was fucking insane for any of you who watch wrestling. We watched night one on the Saturday with with everyone. They seem pretty like into it, to be honest with you, and I'm and Liam especially. Liam seems like quite into it. And I'm, I'm glad, I'm happy, I'm hoping. But if, even if not, it's whatever. Um, <clears throat> and then Sunday, I was just kind of chilling here, just watching night two of WrestleMania uh, here by myself. And I didn't end up doing a mid afternoon stream because I'm like, yeah, I just, I didn't wake up in time. I just wasn't, you know, feeling it. And then yesterday, honestly, it was just half because I was tired and half because there was a Leafs game last night. To be honest with you. And I was gonna, I was initially off tomorrow as like a weird Wednesday off again. But uh, they came up to me with like 30 minutes of my shift. Not even, it was like an, uh, it was like an hour actually, of my shift, and I guess they they looked at the schedule, or my manager looked at the schedule, like, you're off tomorrow, what the hell? And I'm like, yeah, I'm giving Friday off instead. He's like, oh, do you want to come in tomorrow? i get your hours up. I'm like, well, only if I can get Friday off. And he's like, well, you know, you kind of need your hours. I'm like, I don't need them. I'm like, yeah, fine. I mean, it, I did take Sunday off. I, I booked it off specifically for WrestleMania, so I'm like, okay, well, fine. I'll take the penalty of working Monday to Friday and working the Friday and all that. I feel like I missed a few encounters. Female Trico, write it down, write it down. Hold on, I need to check if Matthews actually scored that goal. I'll be actually- I mean we won, but I'll be upset if he didn't score. Um... So yeah, I only have Saturday off. I was gonna do a Twitch stream tonight of, like, grinding up to Diamond for just tonight, because I know the season's done in next week, next Tuesday, I think. And then, like, if we got to Diamond, I was gonna celebrate with, like, opening up a bottle of wine because I have a bottle of wine. I bought it before WrestleMania weekend and I never opened it. Um, but uh, I have to work tomorrow now. Hold on, hold on. He did score, thank the lord. Wait, oh my god, I make two headshot kills in a row then got rolled. But it's also nice because coming up, and I don't know why, but they gave me a Sunday off. They, they just gave me a Sunday off, so. Yes, it's less hours, but I will happily take it if it's a Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. And I'm not going to mention anything to, te to them, and I, I will not work if they ask me to. So. Fuck them. 
especially recently, like, they've just been so, they've been so stupid. We had a whole, like, team huddle meeting thing today about, like, their expectations, and it's like, buddy. You do, oh, female tree, go write it down. You don't care about us, so I don't care about you, so, like, I do my shit. I'm not gonna be told, like, the fucking ins and outs and who's and where's and how's and what's and who's and where's and why's of it. I'm just gonna fucking do it. Getting a change in season 10, I'm kind of terrified of what it might be. I don't want my main nerfed. I do. But then again, Moira is really not that highly played because her ceiling, her skill cap is like, there is a skill cap to her. So she's really not that played in high level and competitive and like the uh, OWCS and stuff like that. So they're either going to buff her to make her more viable for higher stuff or nerf her because she's played like everywhere else. Incredibly highly played. Is she? I don't see many Moiras in like the OWCS, brother. I see Lucio's, Anna's, Kiriko's, some Briggs. Alari, not really. Alari has kind of fell off a little bit. Kiri Mora. Well, maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm not fucking paying attention. To be fair, I really only just watch whatever the fucking Toronto Defiant does. I don't really watch every other game in all the other regions. I mean, that's sometimes a pain with rescheduling workdays. It's honestly sometimes an annoying when BS happens, but it happens. Oh, yes, thank you, Septile. Yeah, it happens. I I was hesitant to say no. And to be honest, uh, I was going to say I could just say fuck it, but he, they in, <clears throat> in that hour after I said I would work tomorrow, he went on to like my actual schedule app and like put me in. So if I don't show up tomorrow, it, it would look like a, a normal like call in or whatever. Yeah, so I'm only off Saturday, um, and then the next week I'm I'm my normal schedule, which is a Sunday to Thursday. But then I think that's when I get a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I'm I'm happy with that. And also this Friday, it's gonna suck. I mean, the boys will, might want to hang out. I'm gonna have an early stream here on Friday because um, I think I'm doing a collab with Christian Ectric Sly Guy. Master Brad, I think his name is. I actually don't really know who he is. And, um... I don't count... I didn't count this one. And, uh, there's someone else. Hold on, let me check the Discord. We have a Discord group. We're doing a collab on Friday. Oh, that was it. Master Brad, Christian, Act Chicken Sly Guy. We're playing that Oh Dear game. Which apparently I heard was actually created by a streamer named Squeaks, who I like. I don't watch, but I, I I know who he is. He's friends with a bunch of other streamers I do watch. So I don't know if he made it, but like he has like people who made it. It's like a it's like a Dead by Daylight situation, but like funnier. I just thought that the OWCS and kind of. In like high level play overwatching uh in particular it doesn't really have a set meta like it used to like a couple years ago it'd be like it'd switch from this to that and now it's i feel like it's like kind of just hybrid stuff yeah we're gonna play oh dear I was the last one to join this group, apparently, and I was like, ugh, dude. So I t told them, because I already knew I was working this Friday, I'm like, well, this Friday might not work. I did say the 19th, like, push it, because apparently Friday is really the only day that works at all for all five of us at any time. So I'm like, oh, maybe I can do the 19th, because I am off next week. But nobody took that into play, and we're like, oh, all right, we're doing it this week. It's going to be at 7. So I'm going to be here. I'm going to be live earlier. 
I'll be honest, I don't want it to go late. Like, two hours max, if I'm being honest. Cause I don't know if I'll be doing anything. Because I'm working, I'm, I won't be getting home until like 5.30, so I only have like an hour and a half to eat and do anything and possibly have to make a thumbnail and shit like that, even though I actually probably should be doing that this week. I might just not, uh, I might not stream Thursday because of it. <clears throat> unfortunately means um obviously there's gonna be no thursday twitch stream because of i have to work friday and also because i think again it all depends if, if five plans with the with with the boys after my collab stream i probably won't be live on twitch if i don't and nothing gets put into place then uh I probably will have a Twitch stream Friday night. Solar, are you in this invested in the game where you actually have been looking up? So I just try to look up Moira usage in OWCS and there's no like chart. How do you know? Have you been watching matches? <laughs> are you actually like this invested into the game now? What's up, Red Ninja? What's your question, sir? Or ma'am? I don't know if it was you, but someone definitely asked me this question the other night on Thursday or Friday. I think it was Friday afternoon. And uh, yes, I did. The Shaman. I got it many months ago. And actually, apparently in the flaw, I think it's the vlog footage that will be coming out. We actually talk about me getting the Shaman because around that time I had just got it about a month before. Maybe not even a few weeks before. Or after I got it. Um, so I did get it. Uh, 23,000 some odd encounters, I forget. I do have a video on it, if you want to go check it out. So we'll go see the reaction. I have a short on it, I think, as well, if you are a more of a shorts person. Just came across a short talk about it? Ah, I gotcha. That is also why it's in the Hall of Fame here on the left-hand side of my screen. That's where the either stupid crazy long hunts go or the stupid crazy short hunts go. That is why it's, it, it is at the top. 
20, oh yeah, there, yeah, 23,543 was the final total. Kind of forgot. I kind of forgot that Shaman is still in my overlay. Like, it's been on this overlay in some way or another for years, like literal years. I'd even have a. Uh, I don't know if I still have it. I ha used to have an uh, an on hold thing where it's like if we had a hunt going for a while and we went and got, did something else, I put on hold the picture of whatever shiny we're hunting and like the number we were at. Well, I obviously don't really do that anymore, but. I had a shaman, a different shaman gif there for it because we were hunting something else at the time. It was probably the Mew, actually. It was the Mew. We did the Mew hunt and we put the shaman on hold. And at the time, it was only like, it was like less than 2,000. God forbid, holy, if only I knew. It's Halloween. Uh, It's... It's sad, so sad to say, but it's only two and a bit times over odds. Like, the Totodile took, like, because we were counting it three at a time, because we were checking three Pokemon at a time, uh, I think that Totodile only took, like, two streams, maybe three. It was very quick, and the resets had just happened also be fast. The Veriz Verizian with the camp resets one at a time at the odds that it is, which is, I guess, technically is about two and a half times over odds itself, but it is full odds. Um, that Verizian took, I think, almost a year, if I remember. It was for February, or it was for Valentine's Day of one of the years. I think it was 2021. And we didn't end up getting it until, like, around my birthday the next year so it was like over a year i think it, we took a whole like a hiatus on it for a bit but it was still like over a year and then shaman obviously was like a year and a half two years so i don't think zorua it was for halloween of this past year and then i forgot that we didn't get it and that's why it took a while because they're like oh shit, right that zorua and it was like literally just a second thought i'm like oh, i kind of have to start hunting something again so i don't think so my thing not counting like am i I swear to God, I'm pressing the button, the number doesn't go up. That wasn't shiny, right? I pressed that way too early. Ah, oh, you can't even tell. That would be really shit. It, it wasn't. I don't even want to talk about it though. Definitely wasn't though. When I put in the uh, this, this this Discord about possibly doing the nineteenth, literally nobody's like, no. Yeah, it was impossible. I just know in these games the uh, the shiny sound. I don't know about the animation, but the shiny sound happens quite early into like the the encounter of the Pokemon, if that makes sense. 
I feel like we. I feel like even if even at that early, you would have really started started to hear the uh, the shiny noise. Potench. Two channels at the same time. Two tabs open, baby. We're gonna have to your work your work cut out for you. For all the for all the nonsense that happens in this chat, right? For all like the craziness. Mobile tabs. Bro, get desktop for fuck's sake. I couldn't imagine constantly being on YouTube mobile at home. Like I'm on YouTube mobile at work all the time. I couldn't imagine like having to bounce around and like mod from a phone. <clears throat> and like I said, I don't want it to go more than two hours because then at least the two hours that I, I I can end like around the time we normally start, which would be interesting. And like after a busy week, I just don't want to be live that much longer than I have to. And to be honest, I I'm, I've, I actually recently just saw people play this game like on stream. I feel like we might get bored of it quite quickly, unless it's changed drastically in the last couple weeks or some shit. I, I don't know if it's a game that we would be entertained by for two uh, like two hours. And I still have to buy it, and it's like a twelve dollar game to be honest. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? There, I definitely pressed the key and it did not go up. Fuck you. Imagine having to sit at a desk just to watch YouTube instead of chilling in your bed or something. Bro, that's lame though. I'm in the bed enough sleeping, I don't have to be there all the time, bro. Desk is nicer. Hmm. <sighs> I mean, yeah, if you don't have your own computer or a laptop, then I get, that makes sense. I'm just joking. I'm up. Excuse me. Oh, today I recently, um... It's because, I don't know, I feel like I would actually start playing some old games. And uh, there's obviously emulators, like, here I could download and stuff, like, even for just this Visual Boy. But, um, I subscribed to the, the yearly, um, Nintendo thing, online, plus expansion, plus pass, plus online, plus Nintendo, plus online Switch, uh, expansion, uh, plus pass. I recently I got that again, so I have that for another year, just so I can, um... I think just a normal way, it's just NES and, like, Game Boy, right? And the Genesis. So at least if I have the expansion, I have access to everything. Which includes Super Nintendo, which I'm, like, kind of, that's kind of the thing I want to, like, play the most. I really want them to get more games on that N64 one though, holy shit.
Oh, the SNES is regular? There's no... Really? The expansion... You mean GBA? Yeah, GBA and N64? Really? Huh. Oh well. Yeah, I forgot with um with like the latest. It was not the latest. It happened like last year. Cause I went after I subscribed. I went into all the the things, and it had been a while. So it had said like you got you know there's new stuff to play, and it's it's always kind of fun like revealing the new stuff. And I'm like, oh yeah, right. I forgot about all these games that were re revealed a while ago during some uh, some direct at some time. And I forgot they gave, uh, put a bunch of Game Boy Color games with the... I think it's the regular Game Boy emulator it has a bunch of Game Boy Color games. Now. Yeah, there's like Splatoon, Splatoon thing which I don't know and there's like something for um... Animal Crossing. The Mario Kart thing is always nice. I mean, I don't... I don't remember a time I played Mario Kart 8. When it wasn't a collab. I think the last time I played it was literally that Beerio Kart stream, which was a fucking mess. Um it's fun, but a fucking mess, holy. But honestly, like like the amount of content with uh, the Mario Kart 8 DLC is is nice. But I, uh, I would like him to, uh, you know, whenever the next Nintendo Direct is, just like hit us with a bunch of new releases on the uh, emulators. Plus, like, I know I'm like one of those guys who keeps saying it, but like, I don't know, maybe a, uh, maybe some Pokemon games on these emulators. Maybe some, maybe a, maybe a GameCube emulator. That'd be sick. Though that would be tough. But like, not really. Bunch of just new games for the existing ones, you know. What's up, Raglan? Another new puppy on Saturday. How many dogs do you have? Just two? Three now? The death of 3DS? Wait, did the uh, 3DS store eShop go offline? Was that yesterday? Four now, holy shit. And how old is the oldest dog? Golden Retriever, two pumpskies, and now a beagle. Damn. Ten or eleven. Oh, fair enough. Okay. I actually was walking to the bus stop this morning, and some like woman who was just like walking alone. I she said, uh, "Excuse me." I'm like, "Oh yeah, well, what's up?" It was like seven thirty in the morning, by the way. <clears throat> Like, have you seen a little dog, like, running around? She, uh, it's a... Was it a beagle? I don't think it was a beagle, but it was definitely a small breed of dog. Because I, I definitely recognize the name, but goddamn, I don't remember it. Fucker Spaniel? No. I don't remember, but it's definitely a small breed of dog. I don't think it was a beagle, though. And I go, she escaped, and like, she, she was screaming, like, I think her name was Layla, was the girl, the dog, sorry. She's like, Layla, I'm like, how, do, how does your dog, I understand you're probably on a walk with it, but like, how, how, how does it get away? But yeah, no, I had not seen the dog, I'm like, oh no. Oh dear. Yo, female tree, go write it down. Last Wonder Trade traded my shiny Corsola as a blood sacrifice. 
Oh, just online multiplayer is disabled for 3DS and Wii U. Oh, well, RIP Smash 4 officially, I guess. Pokemon Bank? Hell yeah, I'd like to see it. Oh yeah, true, the actual eShop has been unused for a year. They should just literally torch any and all remaining we use to prove that they know that they fucked up. A breed jet caught me for it. That's a good trade though. I like that. It's a pretty fair trade. The voice of a husky. Oof, oof, oof. oof. Go Power Rangers. Yeah, all, all around, uh, even though I wasn't really here for most of the weekend, apart from the Friday afternoon thing. Um, pretty good week, a pretty good birthday, I'd say. Pretty, pretty chill for the most part. I had family over for like dessert. We had like a Chinese dinner and then family came over. Um, Got, like, I didn't really tell many people, like, if I want anything, need anything, like, you know, just, I literally said nothing uh, apart from, to my brother, and he's like, yeah, you got anything on your mind? I'm like, uh, well, I know it might be a stretch, but, like, a new chair would be nice. So, I don't know. I don't know if, uh, he said it's, it's common, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's a chair, maybe it's not. Got an Amazon gift card I haven't used yet. And then I uh, just got a bunch of like pops and candies and snacks and stuff. Which is always good. I'll always eat it and drink it. Oh, and also my parents got me like a, a full dartboard, but like the ones that have like the, you know, the open up cabinet thing with the scoreboard and it comes with darts and everything. Pretty cool. Yeah, pretty good birthday, pretty good weekend. I, I, I had a lot of fun. Can't deny it. I do want birthdays though, from like pretty much next year onward to be like just, just chill. Just like a dinner and chill, you know? <clears throat> Yeah, no. Has been hotel short my recommended. I like the show, but it's kind of getting annoying. Yeah, YouTube's algorithm. It's hard to like mess with to try to get it back on like not annoying terms because it's like I'll watch one thing like it'll recommend something that I like used to watch or like a series or like even just a, like a you know I a, a YouTuber I guess that I used to watch or something. I'll like click on the video and be like, oh yeah, right, I don't really like this person anymore. Click off after like, or like close it in like a minute. But then like a few hours later or maybe even the next day, I'll just like get bombarded with like either that person's videos or videos very similar to that like subject. I'm like, oh bro, dude, I was kidding. I don't actually want to watch this shit. It's so hard to get it like away from your recommended and stuff. So dumb. Yeah. 
Oops. The shorts are making me want to rewatch the show again. So it's working, is what you're saying. Every time I play Overwatch, oh. Unless I'm streaming it, I'm usually... Actually, recently I've been just chilling playing Mystery Heroes. I'm not, like, just chilling with Mystery Heroes without playing sound. Because honestly, like, it's Mystery Heroes. I don't need sound. I don't care. I'm just playing for fun. But if I am playing either more seriously, comp, or just, like, not Mystery Heroes, basically, I'll have the earbuds and whatnot, like, with the game, but I'll have headphones, like, I usually, when I'm just, like, sat here watching YouTube or whatever, I'll have my headphones at, like, 20% on the, on my computer here. I actually turn it down to about 6 for streams, because I don't want to, like, whether it be either the game or the music, I don't want to just, like, have it blasting. So I turn it down for myself quite a lot. Um... <clears throat> But if I'm playing Overwatch, because I've got my earbuds underneath in my ears, like plugging my ears, having it at my normal volume is like basically muted. So I crank it to like 40, 45-ish. And I just have like a video playing. True, I always forget Spotify's on PlayStation. And now that I have Spotify, like premium, I don't I don't actually think Spotify's downloaded on my PlayStation just I just because I never had Spotify up until recently. things Xbox does better. That's what I'm saying. Xbox is not a game console anymore. It's an entertainment console. So something as niche as that where it's like it really I mean maybe it has something to do with the game sort of. But more of like a quality of life for like a you know, a music a music player. I, I don't I don't like I don't blame Xbox for being better in that regard. They really do. It's it's completely switched. Ever since um like three and I actually learned the the huge console wars and that I was always a part of was the PS3 Xbox 360 debate and like I always thought that PlayStation 3 was like the minority demographic which to be fair kind of was especially in like school when everybody owned a fucking 360 but the PlayStation 3 actually outsold the 360 by about a million units so I don't know if I was just in the wrong area and then the PS4 came out and then it just completely swapped on its head and Xbox I think just shot themselves in the foot by wanting to like be more of an entertainment console because it's Microsoft and Microsoft's like, well, you know, family, you know? And then they just gave up with the fucking mini fridge. Oh, female Trico. And soon COD probably. Well, yeah, isn't, like, COD getting the thing they used to get with the 360 where, like, isn't it still a thing where it's, like, you buy Season Pass, you get shit early? That used to be a thing for 360. And then, because the PS4 was doing so well, Call of Duty was like, yo, uh, Sony, we want to do what we just did for Xbox, but for you now, because you're making money. And Sony was like, yeah, dude, sure. And so PlayStation had that, like, exclusive right for a while. Oh, another female, there you go. 
And then, so is that going back over to Xbox? Back when uh, D DLCs for play uh, Call of Duties were like an actual thing that wasn't just battle passes. 1600, by the way. What's up, Bellas? Welcome back. I think that's three female Tricos in a row, by the way. Yeah, I'm actually, I was actually interesting. I was watching someone react to like uh, the evolution of Nintendo, and it was around the time that uh, GameCube came out, came out with like the PlayStation 2, and I guess even PlayStation 1. PlayStation's always been kind of that like kind of single player esque kind of games. Like a lot of their exclusives are just single player games. I guess people always associate COD with Xbox for some reason. I don't know why. flip people not only just because uh i think xbox didn't really have great exclusives like throughout it's for xbox one sorry really didn't have good exclusives come out like i remember when they like xbox one came out and their their like release titles some of them are exclusives but like nobody remembers them like i think dead rising 3 right is there's dead right or dead rising is Dead Rising the one where you like craft a chainsaw on the end of a stick and kill like hordes of zombies? It is, right? Dead Rising 3 came out with the Xbox One. It was an Xbox exclusive and it was like good for like a week. And there was like some other zombie game. And then there was like this weird like Viking game that nobody fucking gave, gave a shit about. Another female Trico. Like I own a 360, it's right here, but. First of all, I don't know if my I don't think last time I tried to turn on the Xbox, I couldn't log me into my like my character in my Microsoft account, and I still can't to this day, and I don't know why. Um, what the fuck is going on with these female tricos? Naughty nature. Okay. But PS4 came out and had. I mean, they had the 2018 God of War, they had the Uncharted 4, um, yeah, I mean, Xbox One had Halo 4, right? Halo 4 and 5 and probably some other game in there. Titanfall at the time. So yeah, I guess multiplayer games, sort of. Last of Us was a huge one. Halo f oh, Halo 4 is 360. Oh, I'm thinking of Halo 5 then. Halo has Sea of Thieves. Okay, but that's just on, that's on PC as well. Well, that's, that's just kind of the other thing. If, if diehard PlayStation players want to play like some of these Xbox, Xbox exclusive games, you can just go on their computer, download the Xbox thing, or the mic or maybe it's just on the Microsoft Store or something. Or in some cases it's just fucking on Steam. They can just play it on their PC. Without having to buy a whole fucking Xbox. Yeah, they kinda just leak their own exclusive onto PC. I mean that's smart for them. It makes them money, right? They wanna sell CFDs on both an Xbox and a PC. That's fair. Also, the big problem with Xbox One was uh, both on release, but then also just going down the line. The UI, from what I've seen, from the little I saw and interacted with, the the main like just UI of the Xbox One was just so awful. 
and then they kept changing it to try to make it better and it was like maybe better but it was so like they kept changing it so much that it was like you had to like learn where everything was for the ninth time whereas ps4 was just simple it was just basically a much upgraded version of the ps3 which i thought was fine but like just a way better version of that I saw something about the, the ball rework, it was like... Something to his shields and his grappling hook. And giving it to teammates, the shields. Which makes me think that he doesn't- he won't get like a shit ton of shields if he's near a bunch of people now. And he just like, won't die. He's actually like, gonna help the team and not just be a little fucking soy boy bitch. What's up, Dowsing Shell? You want to stay with your team now. Another female Trico. And I, I welcome this new rework because the, uh, the ball mains, all like maybe 26 of them, will get so upset. It's gonna be so good. It's like if Moira mains uh, like, if they, like, cut how much damage she does in half, you know? And then, like, they would have to face their fears and, like, then actually use the, the piss button and actually piss on their teammates and, like, heal them. You know? Give me shield to teammates is, is optional. God, it's gonna be like Symmetra from like fucking Overwatch 1.0. I don't know if I that last one counted. I don't know. Oh shit, that scared me. I'll be honest, I don't really want them to start doing these like every season or some like every other patch we have to rework someone. Is that then that'll just like it's like I mean it's fine this time with ball because I don't play ball at all. So I will barely know anything. Um but for like Farah, I mean they, most of these reworks end up being pretty good. Like I like the somber one. The, the Roadhog one is questionable. That trap he lays is kind of a... He doesn't really... Ha he does kind of have a one-shot, but, like... In a way, it's almost easier, because, like... You don't need... Oops. Because it's not, like, the one-shot the one shot like it is normally, where it's just hook, headshot, dead. Or, like, hook, headshot, and melee, dead. It's now just lay the trap, pull someone, anyone, into the trap... So basically just land the hook, pull them into the trap, trigger the trap, trap does enough damage on it on triggering that you can just headshot them right then and there. Or even if you somehow get the body, because I know they nerfed how far the person is from you when they get hooked, so the headshot wouldn't be as much, but you can still just melee them or shoot again. Like. I like guess it's not really a one-shot in that case, but it's close enough. But the whole, like, meter thing, they, they where they changed the, um... How far they... Another female? How far away they are when you hook get hooked. Like, it doesn't help a whole lot because his, his gun basically shoots kind of like that slug shot down the middle. As long as you hit enough of that slug shot on the head, even at 
the extra meter away, like, it will do enough. Pulls enemies closer? I thought he pulls enemies further. I swear to god I thought it went from 3 to 4 meters, which means they're further away from him when he, they get hooked. Hollow Knight? Probably not. The vertical knockback was weird. I kind of didn't know that was a thing. He wanted the one shot to be more consistent. See, that's where I don't like it. The headshot the one shot thing was unbelievably stupid before. It's basically just as, like, when you get hooked into that trap, which is every time, like, you feel even more useless. Because doesn't that trap, like, prevent people with movement abilities to, like, use them? Or, like, even they get slowed from it? Like,. Something like that, so it's like, you're just even more doomed. But don't worry, they'll get rid of the Sigma one-shot. Oh, four, two, three. I thought it was three to four, to be honest with you. Maybe I guess I just read that wrong. Like, I don't know why they keep trying to make Roadhog, like, viable. He had a one-shot. I don't know about now with all the new health updates. He definitely doesn't, I don't think. Unless it's Tracer. Sigma, for the most part, before the before all the health uh, updates to everyone, pretty much any damage person other than Bastion, if you were hit by his... um, It was basically just his... A combination of how much damage his uh, his rock did, plus how much damage his normal balls do. Where any DPS character or support character that was in Bastion, if you were stunned by his rock, you were just dead because, like, he can just shoot two balls at you while you're stunned and getting up, that you were just dead. So I think what they did was, um, I think what they did was lower the damage from a direct impact of the rock, but, but the stun was a little longer. Oh, little crack of the back there. Know how to kill Hog. True. He sucks in higher play, yeah, but nobody wants him in higher play. None of the pros want him in higher play. Even to this day, even with the rework, he's like... He's just as, if not, probably even a bit more, like... A, like a one-man one army and not a team player hero the whole time. Well, yeah, he gets focused because of the one shot. Like, yes, you can easily kill him, and he's just kind of sat there. But like, it only takes one hook into that trap, and even then, not even into that trap sometimes, to kill off someone, and now it's all of a sudden it's a 5v4. And even if Roadhog dies, which again, he has his heal, which is also damage reduction, like... Okay, I'm gonna call that as the X. Uh, no, we'll do one more. Oh yeah, once people recognize he's Southfield for too long, he's just fucking dead. That's what I'm saying. He's not a team hero at all. It's like, the same if not worse than Paul. He, he's always, he always has been. Like, this, the added trap and like the new self-heal mechanic 
with like the meter versus just like the one use. Didn't change that like aspect of him. He's always just oh I know. He's people are I mean to be fair, like depending on who you're playing and like what role you're playing, you do not want to get hooked by him. And the hook itself only had uh, it's got like was it an eight second cooldown? So if he misses a hook, like that's your chance. And people don't recognize that either. Like if you're scared of the hook, fine, fair. But if he hooks and you hear the hook or see the hook miss, that's your chance. Is what you just self heals or chucks a little trap that you just avoid? And you just yeah. How do you? Okay, uh, we will go into a raid. I don't. I think there's a few lurkers here. From what I can see and tell and hear and smell and taste. What? Oh, I know, buddy. I know there's an update. Thank you. Um, we will go into a raid, though. I would raid Christian because he's opening Pokemon cards, but I just raided him not too long ago, I think. Um, did I raid you recently? I don't think so. I don't remember raiding this person. Yeah, I thought... Yeah, I think there's other people here, no? If, I hope there's other people here. It says there's four viewers. Should be a couple others, Tharkin. One of them might be Dazzling Shell, and Dazzling Shell's a fucking robot, as we know. Why doesn't this say... There we go. But if you are there lurking, it's all good. Continue to lurk, but go on this per go to this person's stream. Pokey Gathers is who we are rating. They're on 19 likes, kind of crazy. They are doing Dynamax Adventures. I didn't see who they're Dynamax Adventuring right now. Oh, it's Zygarde, classic, classic Zygarde. What's up, Syph? Bro, so if you want to be part of the raid, just don't spam it, alright? We did not get the shiny. We did about 125 encounters tonight because uh, we reacted to a video of me and my boys. It's actually on the linked, uh, the pinned link. That channel. I'm gonna head on over. We re Hello? Get rated kid, fair enough. Yeah, no, that's, that works too. That works. Um, so, guys, Scythe, Solo, anyone else again, Larkin, it's all good. We're gonna go raid Pokey Gathers. Good, wish him luck for Dynamax Adventures. Like I said, he's doing Zygarde, probably the hardest Dynamax Adventures legendary you can get, so wish him luck on a shiny one. I will be here tomorrow. I think we'll do some more Paper Mario, because why not? We're close to the end of the game, um, from what I can see, so. I'm going to do Paper Mario. I don't think I'll be here Thursday, if I'm going to be honest. And then we're doing a collab stream with some people on Friday. So that's kind of the schedule for this week for right now. Um, So, uh, yeah, you guys will get redirected over there in just a second. Hashtag Horsey Raid. Uh, I didn't put it in the chat myself. You guys already know. Thank you guys for the likes. Any new subs? uh appreciate that appreciate you guys thank you so much sorry for being away for like four days but you know i had plans it was my birthday weekend it was wrestlemania bro so it's all cool anyway peace out see you guys tomorrow have a good one goodbye good night